What is a cooking-related red flag in a relationship? There was a letter to an advice column years ago, from a woman convinced her mother-in-law was slightly poisoning her every time they went to her house for dinner. After every meal she grew violently ill and threw up, had diarrhea. When she told her husband her suspicion he said she was crazy. His mother was a saint who adored her and would die before hurting her. The advice columnist urged the wife to swap her plate with her husband's during the next dinner. The woman wrote back saying she followed the advice and it was her husband who became violently ill after the meal. When she told him what she'd done she said he looked at her with such loathing she realized he'd suspected what his mom was doing all along but, instead of standing up for her, he decided to gaslight her about her suspicions to avoid upsetting his mom. Talk about your red flags. My ex thought that, browning, ground meat meant leaving it in the fridge till it turned brown. When they put your best knives in the dishwasher. Being a full-grown adult that waits to be cooked for. Knowing full well, his spouse might also be working full-time. But they won't lift a finger to grab dinner on the way home or if already home toss something in the microwave. Not having any spices at all in your kitchen. I once decided to cook for a girl I was dating. It was pretty fresh at the time, third time I had seen her. I thought it might be nice to cook, have a wine and chat etc as you do. While I was cooking she told me to stop talking so much and hurry up because she was hungry in a rude, annoyed tone. That turned me off to the point I didn't see her again after that night. I knew a guy who dropped his $1 bottle of spaghetti sauce, jar broke in the bag. He goes and makes spaghetti. With sauce. We ask if this is the same sauce. Yup. He just pulled the chunks of glass out of it flushed. I do not eat that spaghetti or anything he cooked after that. 